Hi guys, this is Michelle Marquez, the Beauty and Style Council member. I have 25 questions for you for the new year and I'm going to answer that. live by the same rule that I just do everything with the best of my abilities. Everything happens for a reason and for everything that does happen is either a lesson or a blessing. You know Candice, the VS model recently, I don't know, I just like her energy. The adventurous side, the more exotic side, discovering different passions in life. I want to be able to work on more of my passions in life. I want to be or achieve my best body and just have overall health in general. And three, to be kinder and more generous. Definitely to step out of my comfort zone, to be more brave, to take risks, just explore the different opportunities in life. Abraham Lawyer, Maxine D, and I'm gonna leave the last one open because I don't know. There are so many dimensions. Earlier, I named three people that I wanted to spend more time with. And that was my brother, my sister, and somebody that cannot be named because I don't have a name yet. Yes, I admit I haven't had that much time with my sister, nor my brother. I'm so busy last year. One major factor is both of them do stay in the States for majority of the year. My brother I was able to see back here, but my sister went to the States right away, and then she just got engaged, so I just kind of feel like I wish I could talk to her more about it, see what she's been up to. Top of my head, I would say don't take time for granted. Because a lot of the moments in my life last year was very um, rushed. Um, not just because of procrastination, but just because of overlapping of schedules. So I wasn't able to like, just give 100% of myself in other aspects of my life just because of the time management thing. So I think just applying that and taking the lessons as I needed, I think there's a lot of room for improvement. Okay, now we're back. We just finished one of the segments for an episode for Glow Up, Shempre. And I just wanted to continue the questions because we have quite a few more questions to go. <laughs> So, sabayin ko sa retouch ko dito. One of my dream passion projects is to do a video, travel around the Philippines, obviously utilize my motor motorcycle skills. Um, but what I really want to do is kind of, alam mo yung Christmas reindeers, tas pero nakamotor, tapos for Christmas and then magbibigay kami ng gifts. And I just feel like that would be really cute. That's something I've wanted to organize for a while. It's just the logistics is hard. But if I didn't have to think of all of that, then I would have done it a long time ago. You have asked the right person. Because I grew up being super athletic, hating dresses, hating gowns. I didn't like heels because I had rubber shoes and everything. But look at me now. <laughs> look at me now. I have a crown. But my biggest tip is not to go not to change drastically. Shempre, I had to take it slow, but you have to just know your personality. And it's just really figuring out kung anong assets mo, what makes you feel good. Ultimately, ikaw naman yung judge yun eh. You can't allow the opinions of other people to define you. You have to be really confident in yourself. And honestly, even up until today, I still rock the oversized outfits. I can still pair leggings with an oversized shirt and still make it look girly because it's really up to your personality. Naman eh. It will show your inner beauty, will show. And what, it's 2020. Let's not judge other people for what they're wearing anymore. Right? So I've been traveling alone since I was 13 years old. I would travel as an unaccompanied minor to the States. So that's 14 hours on the flight, traveling, transit, whatever, alone. How does it feel? Shepherd mo una matatahot ka. I think my first solo trip was I was in grade four. I was 10 years old. My mom was one of those reinas for the parade. Ano yun for Sinulog Ata? 
And then I wanted to go with her, so she booked me a flight, and then I flew from Manila to Cebu alone. Shamper na taka taho, pero the more I did it, the more I gained confidence in doing it alone. Just make sure that you know your time, your time schedule, you know your flight number. The first thing you do when getting before going on and off the plane is checking what time boarding is, checking how far the gate is. I've had to run across airports so many times, and I've never missed a flight in my whole life. Okay, so I got ice on the because lunch break just finished. So, retouch, ayos, balik earrings. But, gusto ko lang continue yung questions natin. Okay, so alam naman natin na social media is a very, very big part of everyone's life, or at least majority of everyone's life. And personally, gusto ko talaga i cut down yung hours na I'm on my phone or on technology. I want to be more present in the moment acknowledge everything that happens around me because especially in London because we did have a social media aspect there would be times na you'd be on the bus and I'd be on my phone checking social media making sure I'm posting and then I look up and then I don't realize that I'm in a very very beautiful country so there were brief moments of like that na gusto kong malesson this year honestly it's my past self I used to be really chunky before um, I couldn't go up one flight of stairs without being hingal. Um, I couldn't last in the gym. So it's just really me wanting to be the best version of myself, whether at the gym, whether it's part of my craft, just in all aspects of my life, I want to be better. So what motivates me is seeing where I started and reminding myself why I started at whatever I started. Sleep. Last year, halos wala atang tulog team. No sleep ako last year. I need to know how to balance my work life and my social life more. I need to learn how to balance so many things in my life. But I feel like I've gotten to a good, a really, really good start. Fun fact, I don't celebrate my birthday. Just because I never really felt the need to. So what I do is I have dinner with my family, um, a close group of friends, and We'll see. Malay mo may trabaho ako, so I'll celebrate at work. So, malay natin. Pajama party. Kasi, ayaw ko mag-aayos. Pag hindi kailangan, gusto ko chill lang ka maglahat. So, a pajama theme party. If money definitely wasn't involved, then I would buy probably an artist of that. Maybe a brand new car, a bigger car that can hold most of my stuff. Just because I do drive a smaller car, I have my PA with me and then I have my driver and then sometimes I would have like three big, big luggages with me for wardrobe requirements. And last year, first time I was is go straight from one taping and then another taping the next day and I wouldn't go home. So I would literally sleep in my car and not have space. So that I feel would be a good practical purchase this year. Pero Last few questions. Ooh. I would like to tie to Inner Peace Foundation. That is the foundation that my grandmother started. It's not like a foundation, like Autism Society Foundation. It's a spiritual group where people come together, talk about their goals, um, just try to become the best versions of themselves. As well as favorite church, that is the Sunday worship that I choose to go to. It's in Shangri-La. So I believe in tithing. So the Lawa. Inner Peace Foundation and Favorite Church. Ooh. <coughs> 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 my first ever talk <coughs> show CS Mala and Winwin Marquez. <coughs> best co-hosts. This world of Philippines grab it. But then I'll come <laughs> No, this world has taught me so much. I know that I've grown as a person inside and out because of the journey. Learning so many experiences from my co-candidates, from the whole pageantry, the whole journey. I loved it. It's definitely the proudest moment in my life. Best advice I would love to give myself is to uh, continue to go for your passions. Continue, don't stop dreaming, don't stop yourself just because people are telling you this is where your limit is. Never stop dreaming, 
never stop working, never, never say <laughs> never. Uh, syempre, there are different things that you want to do in your life. And I want to tell you, Mishati, hopefully you watch this in 2030. And Sana, you're achieving everything that you said that you were going to achieve today. Mwah! I love you. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I hope you guys got some insight into my life and into everybody else's life as well. See you again in the next episode. See you now. Bye-bye! Bye, Dao. Mga kapuso, higit 10 milyon ang nakasubscribe sa GMA uh, Network YouTube channel, ang fastest growing channel sa Asia. Nakatanggap tayo ng Diamond Play Button Award mula sa YouTube. Higit sa 10 milyon ang aming pasasalamat. Hanggang sa susunod na 10 milyon, magkita rin tayo mga kapuso.